Hey guys, I'm Sonika. In today's photography tutorial, I'm going to talk about a classical tool of composition used in photography as well as paintings, which is called the golden triangles. We have heard a lot about the rule of thirds, framing within a frame, leading lines, etc. So now let us talk about uh, the golden triangles in more detail and see how we can use it to enhance our photography. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Sonika. Welcome to my channel which is all about photography, travel, vlogging and cameras. And I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday for you guys. So if you want new photography tips and tricks from me every Wednesday, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. And today we are going to talk about golden triangles which is also called golden rectangle, golden section where diagonal lines are used to add dynamic feel to our photos. So. What is the rule of the golden triangles? Imagine your frame and draw a line from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner. That side does not matter. What matters is we need to have a diagonal line across the picture. Again I will draw a line from the bottom left hand corner to the diagonal line that meets it at a right angle. Similarly a line from the top right hand corner to the diagonal line at right angles. This will give us triangles that form the photographic composition known as the golden triangles. This composition can be formed with both vertical and horizontal frames. It is kinda like the rule of thirds where we draw two vertical and two horizontal lines instead of diagonal lines. And as with the rule of thirds, we are aiming to put our point of interest over any point of intersection. How to use the golden triangles? You can use the golden triangles in two ways. You can place your subject directly along the diagonals. This will give direction to your subject and also help land the viewer to the place where you want him to go in the picture. You can fill the triangle with your subject and use the shape of your subject to create triangles which lead your viewer to the main area that you want to highlight and also create symmetry and balance. Some tips I wanna give you to do that. Just like in the rule of thirds, position the elements of the photo that are most important at or near the intersection of the diagonals. In a portrait, the eyes of the subject can be placed at any of the intersecting points. Similarly, you can compose your macro and bird shots. Leading lines are the lines that lead up to the subject in the photo. This is what makes the golden triangles composition different from the rule of thirds. So look for a diagonal line that leads up to your main subject. In landscape photography, a road that diagonally cuts through your frame is the main subject that would be ideal. You may need to move a bit in order to get the best composition. You can play with the angles to create diagonals. For portraits, you may look at moving the hands or legs of the model in creative ways to make diagonals that are required for the golden triangles. When your horizon line is in flat, you have more options for forming the golden triangle composition. Use a diagonal horizon line that leads towards your main subject. Try to keep some space at the top and bottom. In this way, we try to bring some balance into our composition as you can place the subject at one intersecting point and a secondary subject at the second point. Use the 3x3 grid in your camera to frame your subject while clicking. Try to place the subject a little away from the lines or just space them out a bit. Then use composition overlay while post-processing your images to help you in applying this tool effectively. Here are a few more examples of the golden triangles.
while it may be difficult at first as you keep using the golden triangles in your photography you are bound to get better so if you are already using the rule of thirds in your photography composition i suggest you start using golden triangles too to take your photography game a step further and if you like this video guys and found it to be useful give me a big thumbs up Leave a comment down below about the photography techniques you like to use in your photography. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous composition tutorial. Please go check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.